All right. Uh, we're back with Crusader Kings 2. We are Chief Abdul Rahman of Marrakesh. We are a Shia Muslim, and we've got a bunch of good stats from both doing the Hero Builder and doing our Hodge. So, we got ambitious out of that. Um, we've got two wives, and we just got another province here, which isn't that great, but we're trying to convert it from this to our standard Shia. One of the problems is everybody around us is a body. What is Kervijite? Is it a body heresy? Or it's Catholic? I guess there aren't any uh, Sunni around here. No, this guy's Sunni. And the Umayyads are Sunni. Sunni as well, I believe. Yeah. Hopefully they get uh, beat by France. So, there's. I'm going to be doing an unorthodox thing here in that I'm probably going to be helping the Christians to reclaim Spain. So, when I convert to EU4, it makes things more difficult for me. Um, that might not make a whole lot of sense, but, you know, that's, that's the way it that's the way it goes. Um, other than that, I don't know what kind of goals I have. Uh, religiously, I'm kind of okay with doing any of the religions. I don't think they're any different in this game. Um, the different uh, Islamic sects. Um, I don't know. But something I never brought up uh, that the Muslims have is decadence. Uh, decadence is basically a way to control how you are uh, controlling your dynasty, really, more than anything else. Uh, you can get it by having your dudes do stuff, basically. Um, and you get decadence, I think, for traits as well. So, um... I think we took this province right after our Hajj. We took it from this guy? No. Yes. But he died. Yeah, I think we took it from that guy and then he died and his son is here and he's got a claim to Tarda, which is it's down here. That's okay, Sheikh Said. Maybe I do. No, yeah, I, I guess. I guess I do have a, a truce directly with him. And I'm trying to claim this province. I can do an attack, but it costs me piety. And I'd rather not do that when I can just uh, take the provinces normally. Now, this is a Shia heresy. It should be easier to convert. The revolt risk is 93%. So not only my counselor is actually helping a lot. Um, how good is my court chappy? He sucks. Um, so I probably just appointed him there, which is why I can't move him. Evidently I got a new steward. Do I have a steward who likes me more? Not one that is any... Well, he's slightly better. Uh, than this guy, but... This guy is ambitious. Okay, I'd rather not have an ambitious guy because they they tend to do bad stuff. So we'll do, take a slightly worse guy that likes me more. Because ambitious guys never like their leash. Um, my vassal is this guy. He's cool with me. Okay, my ambition, I believe, is to have a son. Yep. And I'm focusing on hunting, which means I should get hunting events, but because of my location, I may not. Um, I don't think I even have the option of doing a hunt in here. Okay, so what do I need to do to up, to adopt feudalism? I'd rather not have to... Okay, they're having some wars over here. Which is what they were doing before. I'd rather not have be tribal for very long, because we did the tribal thing, and I'd actually kind of like to be a city-state. That would be pretty cool. Hmm. I could use some money. 
Uh, but I'm not sure if that's a good idea right now. The Caliph? What was the Caliph care? Oh, sh great! If my opinion ruled, the world would be a more chaotic but fun place. If we kept fo keep following the laws, the world would be less chaos, but also would have less chaos, but also be less fun. So this gives us a 45% chance of getting the just or arbitrary trait, based on which one I choose. I like just. Just is really good. And I got it. Yes! Treating people fairly and providing justice is my duty. I have gained the just trait. So we are this guy now. Except Muslim. Um... So now our traits are even better. We can have five provinces, which is real good. Uh, before... I don't think this is actually part of what I want. Yeah, I actually want this province, which is owned by the... Oh. What happened to you? He was ill. Okay, so I need a new steward. Why don't the stewards have different uh, names? I really don't like this guy. These, these guys are both ambitious. And this guy wants to be the marshal. Ugh. Ten is okay. He might get murdered. No, I don't think they can get murdered doing that. But he's unlikely to do anything. Not getting any money, really. But we got a decent amount of troops. Probably more than anybody else in the area at the moment. So this... Yeah, he's definitely the Count of Tangiers. He's at war with everybody. Catholic. Oh, there's quite a few Catholic provinces here. I guess this is before... Yeah, because Egypt is still my site. Uh, I guess this is before Islam really took the hold it has today. Yeah, pretty much everything over here is still Zoroastrian. There's no Muslims in India except for right here. Which I believe is just because this guy is Muslim. Not necessarily a historical thing. There's no Muslims over here. Yeah, okay. I guess that's fairly historical um, for this time point. Just basically Arabia and the northern part of Africa. Yeah, and all this stuff's still Catholic too. Um, so we still haven't had our son because it's only been two years, so I'm not too worried about it. We're relatively young, 36. Um, Said Said is one of my courtiers. He had a bastage. Maybe I should get some more wives. Hmm. No ambitious. Anybody who has a fertility bonus? That's a fertility bonus. Okay. So... Oh, I get fulfilled her marriage wish. That's nice. I think we can have one more. Yeah. Uh, you actually get a penalty to fertility. Dutiful cleric isn't a penalty, but it's not really good. Um, uh, I guess we should look for ginger women. Not married. Oh, well, that search all. Religion, my culture, um, hmm, nobody for with a fertility bonus, but 
this person's not bad. Okay. So now I have four wives. I think I get a prestige bonus for that. More than two wives, okay. Okay, nothing's going on. I can do an invasion of somewhere. I can take advantage of this if I'm willing to get rid of my piety. I can claim it for another dude, but that's not a good idea. And I get a holy war, which is a very bad idea. <laughs> um, hmm. I would lose 50 pine for this. Let's move our Chancellor to here. I don't know how important piety is for Muslims. So you're war with like three different people. And you have no allies. How many deuterators do I have? I have a lot of dudes. Uh, and this would give me four of looks like five provinces. I would just need this one for the Marrakesh Duchy, which would make me an emir if I were not a chief. Um, and as long as I don't have any... Yeah, and I can control five provinces. And being a duchy would let me control another one. Okay. Let's go ahead and spin the piety to conquer this. Let's get some cheap war score here. Your experience in matters of war has increased, and there are many things you will do differently in future battles. So is desert here? No, but Organizer is. I have Aggressive Leader right now, which is kind of a penalty, because I get a, bon a penalty to defense, which is why it was uh, different. Unyielding would be would get me that part of that defense back, um, which is good, but I like Organization, so now I can attack even faster. Not Schnell. Uh, only in Muslim. Dul Rahman is in the center, as he should be, being super leader that he is. Alright, so we just want to take this. Defender 17! That's great. Cool. Alright. So let's go siege his homelands. Now, organization makes me move faster, which is nice in these mountains. If I got mountain fighter, I'd probably take that. Or desert, since that's what pretty much all of this area is. Let's help siege him. It's dangerous to do this because it uh, makes it so that he can use my guys to assault, but he's not doing that because it's taking. Oh, yeah! Um, is this my primary life? No, it's not. That's okay. Five prestige. Sweet. So, hopefully, that's a sun. Because I don't think, um, I think it's open, open, uh, it's open. I don't think women can ever inherit in Muslim stuff because, uh, not very progressive in that way. Are you, are you done? Okay, so he lost that. Aha! Aha, that's the only province he has left. Give me your stuff. Okay, so Marrakesh is super huge, and Infa is even bigger, but uh, we can take care of Infa. Psh, it's fine. So, uh, what's going on up here? Nothing really. So, I don't have enough money to create the duchy. I know some people who can give me some money. The Jews. 
Give me some money. Let's create the Duchy of Marrakesh. Boom. High Chief Abdul Rahman of Wazirid Duchy has created the title of High Chiefdom of Marrakesh. So the was we're the Wazirid Duchy. Sweet. Okay. So I'm gonna lose everything when I die because I don't have an air. So open agnatic or open uh, cognatic, whatever this is, is um, not as bad as Gable kind. So I'm not gonna split my duchy up when I die. Uh, so let's go for low tribal organization. I don't care because we're gonna need to do that. I could give some money to the Choich to get some piety back. Would be a better steward. You are a jerk. Sully so loses ten prestige and he hates me. Fuck you. Get out of here. I don't like you. Okay. So, uh, what's the thing? I can give money to the church. Get some piety back. Ooh, I can observe Ramadan. The feast. The fast commence. Uh, lose three decadence. I don't think I have any decadence. All I've been doing is warring. Uh, no, I'm actually 24, which is below the, the base level. It's basically a feast, only the opposite, <laughs> because I, I, I'm not eating anything. Yeah, let's do that. Holy month of Ramadan is, is upon us, and all faithful Muslims, save the infirm and those on a journey, must observe the fast during daylight hours. Let the fast commence. I don't think I did that last year. Okay. As you fast, the fast you have observed during Ramadan has taught you the value of moderation in all things. The dangers of indulgent and excess. Like excess, you fear closer to Allah. So we get temperate. Temperate. Which gives us two steward tip. Ooh, nice. But greedy people hate us. That's fine. That one dude is probably greedy. The end of Ramadan approaches, and that means the holiday of Eid ul Fitr uh, is upon us. Preparations for the planned feast to celebrate this have already been made, and now the time has come to invite your vests to the palace. We'll see you, master. Send out invitations. The Wali will be invited. The great banquet you ordered to celebrate aid, and the end of Ramadan was a rousing success. The, duke, the food was exceptional, the entertainment magnificent, and a great time was had by all. Your, green, your guests seemed suitably impressed by your wealth and generosity. Ed Mubarak. So, Spymaster likes this better. Oh, to celebrate Eid Ulfatir, perhaps you should present gifts to your beloved wives. Yes, but only Kenwa, my dearest first my dear first wife. And I lose some gold. And she her opinion goes up, but all the rest of them go down. Of course they will all say my love. Lose three gold and they all get, like more. But I can say my affection for them is gifting up. No, let's Let's be cool to our wives. You've, your fast and observance of the holy month of Ramadan has ended until next year. So we're only at 20% decadence. Oh, look. Your first wife, Kenwa, sent you a gift. It's a small puppy. Finest pedigree. Destined to grow in a great hunting dog. This is because we have the hunting focus. Everybody's going to give us gifts of dogs. So, we can accept this gift. And we will get a hunting dog until the end of the game. Gives us plus one diplomacy and plus one health. Can send it back and she'll hate us. Pay someone quietly to dispose of it. <laughs> Why would we do that? This is just gives us a bonus. I guess if we wanted her to hate us. Nah. Plus one health? Great. Your new puppy has no name yet, my lord. We call it Faithful Hunter or Tricky. We just did Ramadan. We'll do Faithful. Okay, Hunter. Yeah, yeah, my, my temple... Oh, crap. Yeah, she's named after her mom, apparently. Okay. Notice this doesn't help anything. <laughs> Daughters are basically useless to me. Which sucks. Is this part of the... Marrakesh? It is. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're even pagan. 
I don't need boats, though. See, the smallest change might mean five years more without thinking or repairs. This is just absurd. What were they thinking? Let me have the money needed to do these changes, and I promise you. Chief's architect pointed out several flaws and faults in the building plans and asked for the money to prevent them. One t oh, a buck. A buck, and he will go correct the buildings. Yes. There, have a dollar. Your dog is growing quickly and is no longer a little puppy. He runs fast and has a keen nose. He bites hard, too. Several dog handlers can testify. Hmm. Ten prestige for our dog biting, everyone. Go dog. Oh. Oh, I see. The Umayyads have showed up. Hmm. That's no good. So we're already getting money from Tertorant. Oh, uh, that's nice. We need to have a son. There's no use in getting anything else. We're gonna game over. Four wives, you know how many sons. I didn't get a penalty for temperate, do I? No. Oh, there we go. Good job, Minna. Good job. Hopefully she has a son. We can name him Adul. Just like us. Saeed. Saeed. Who actually probably is better, but you're ambitious. No, get out of my face. Jerk. Okay, so I think the period of time to do organization yeah, is the same. I need to get this maxed out and have a castle. Uh, so I should start spending some prestige to upgrade my stuff. So we need an earthen hill fort. I don't see any core gold. That one costs money. Um, which would give me stuff. Let's build this. Yes! Gulusa ibn Abdul Rahman. Gulusa. Apparently, I don't have a father. <laughs> so. <laughs> No, his name will be Abdul. Hello, Abdul. Welcome to the Wazirid Emirate. Sweet. We're not technically an emir. We're still a chief. We need a new ambition. Become king of Mauritania? Mauritania is a big place. And that's an empire. Yeah, this is Mauritania here. Africa stops here, so it's like this. So I have about a third of it. No, not even a third of it. Maybe a quarter or a fifth. But that would mean I would want this. So Tangier's up here. You are at war with inf. Well, Figuig. Just these guys. Piety is a resource that I can afford to spend. To be quite honest. Uh, but I don't actually need to do that anymore, do I? I can declare war because of my du jour claim. Um, and since I've got a son already, I don't want to do this too quickly. Oh, I have tons of dudes. Way more than he does. I think he's got... I think that's all he has. Uh, well, gets all he has right now. I got way more than he does. Even, even at the moment, I have half again as many. And twice as many when it's fully strength. And the moolah likes me. He doesn't like me a lot, because I have the... Rule trade. Apparently, my giving money to the Jews uh, is not a problem for him. I don't want to kick them out unless I don't, unless I have to. Hmm. But it's going to take a long time for me to get up. 
You know, we'll, we'll, we can invite them back later. You've decided to expel all Jews from your realm. After the guards round up the round the jewelry up, they are forced to depart in another exodus for lands more friendly to their kind. They are allowed to keep many of their belongings. You confiscate much of their gold. Hey, more money! Lose 100 prestige, but I don't care. Again, prestige is a resource to spend for us. This is our first leader. We don't need a whole lot. You know what we need? A haircut. We need a grander beard. Um, so I'd like to get my relations up with the Umayyads, and since I don't need a claim on this anymore, how do you feel about me? Religious differences, but not too much. Uh, he is... Rationality. Oh, this guy's cool. He's a Saeed, just like me. I think I'm a Saeed. Do I get a relations bonus for that? Yep. And we both went on the Hajj. What about your heir? His heir is okay with me, too. He, and he's a coward. Lover's pox. <laughs> Looks like he's been dallying with some people. Yeah, let's let's go um, improve relations with the Umayyads. As a matter of fact, can we get any... Uh... Yeah. Let's uh, betroth our children's. My daughter's not useful for anything. So, yeah. Proj Hajaj Abdul Haraman. Uh, okay, cool. So, as long as we can... Be cool with the Umayyads. We will feel pretty safe. I don't intend to go into Spain, although I do intend to undermine their power later. Oh, I don't have an ambition picked. The only one I have is Kingdom Mauritania. Um, but I'm not a pagan, so this isn't really useful. I might as well pick it. It doesn't do anything. My stats are all above 8, so can't do anything about that. Although my uh, my diplomacy went down because I kicked out the Jews. Um, that was half counteracted by having a dog. <laughs> oh, I do have the money to upgrade that stuff now. It really should um, cost you money to do that. Just to counteract the fact that you gain money from uh, borrowing money from them. Oh, I don't do it in this mini. I think I'm already building something here, yeah. So let's go ahead and build hill forts elsewhere. I need to save enough to build stuff there. Um. And that guy down there is not doing anything. So, we'll take you to go train troop in, troops in Marrakesh. Because this is like a bazillion percent revolt rate anyway. It's only 54% now. Heretic stronghold. This guy will convert it eventually. I guess heretic is worse. My steward, Hotha, tells me that his efforts at praising my name and deeds have met with great success. A small army of warriors have converged at Marrakesh, ready to serve me. I just need to make sure I have someone to fight within a year, lest they become troublesome. Well? Who are you? I think I can set dudes to raid. I can, but these guys need to be sent to war. Not in your war with the Umayyads. Okay. So you have the Jure claim on the Sot. Um. Alright, warriors. Well, I actually do have a guy here. Wait. Um. Alright, Muhammad.
That's his capital, too. Apparently I can take that. Your hunting dog ran away and went roaming the castle. He was very aggressive, chasing several servants and f sending them fleeing in terror. He then came upon the favorite dog of one of your cour courtiers and attacked and killed it. Unfortunate. Oh no, it's a Jewish guy! <laughs> I thought I kicked them all out! It doesn't count that? Sorry, Amran. Apparently that really turned me on, that's weird. <laughs> Abdul, you got some weird tastes, my man. Just and fair in all things, your people rest easy in the knowledge that no matter what, you'll always be depended on to observe the rule of law. Law should govern! I lose two decades. Ah, kill! Yes. What are you going after? Holy War for Tangier. I don't care about Tangier right now. Matar was captured in battle, is now my prisoner. Can I ransom you? Yes, give me money. I need to capture this. Okay, so I built that thing. Build this fort. I think I need it to be a stone hill fort, which is the next level. He's gonna lose Tangier, so I'll probably still have to take info from him. Caliph Al Mahdi instituted the medium crown authority law in the Arabian Empire. That's another guy I should probably get relations up with the Caliph. Although I'm uh, Shia, so. Ooh, good, you took the whole thing. Okay. He's now my vassal. Which sucks, but, you know, what, what can I do about that? Um... Can I imprison people for free as a Muslim? Nope. Demand religious conversion. He'll probably rebel. If not, I don't really care. Timmy! Okay. Who else should I probably have good relations with? Africa? Let's do that. Okay. So, we're doing pretty good. I feel like this is a good session here. Uh, my troops are gone because I ended the war. So we've gained two more provinces. Uh, I've got my eye on the Canaries. And I think we have every province in Marrakesh except that. We don't have any boats, I think. And even my dude doesn't have any boats. Um, we do have some problems with religion, though. So we're going to have to deal with that. This guy's holding the province for me, so it doesn't really matter. But this Catholic and Harufi province are not that great. But we can deal with that later. So I'll see you next time on Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. Boy, was more rids.